A new book explores Midwest foods, from hot dogs to pizza, tamales and barbecue. The book, Midwestern Food, a chef's guide to the surprising history of a great American cuisine with more than 100 tasty recipes, dives into history and cultural migrations that influence our favorite foods. Joining us today is author and Big Jones owner, Paul Fairbach, and he's making a Midwestern German potato salad. First, I want to talk about the book because I cannot believe how extensive it is. A hundred recipes would be hard enough, but this is like a history lesson as well. How long did this take you? It took about two and a half years. Wow. Really going back, doing all the research and the background. It was, uh, I started the project in 2012. And this is really so it was sort a long of time. a labor of love from your family history. So we know you as doing Southern foods here in the Midwest, but you said, no, 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 I need to explore more of the Midwest. Yeah, I mean, I sort of realized in studying Southern cuisine um, and how special that region is. Coming back home from the South, I also started to realize, wow, we have a lot of really special food here, too. And this story, the story of Midwestern food, hasn't really been told in this way, and that's what I wanted to do. And here's why I love it so much, because you do think of, oh, you know, Southern cuisine or, you know, East Coast. And I think a lot of people sort of discount Midwest. What do we have? Pizza. No, you know, it, there's well, so much more. We have more. some really good pizza. But there I know, is, but there's so much there's more. There's so much more. I mean, people don't realize how diverse the Midwest is. Um, uh, one of the markers is a, a large percentage of people of German national heritage. Yes. Also Polish and Irish. But in the cities, we have large African-American populations that have a fantastic barbecue culture right here in Chicago on the south side. Um, in St. St. Louis, East St. Louis, fantastic barbecue culture and all over the Midwest. In Fort Wayne, Indiana, you'll find a Burmese community that's making food unlike you can get anywhere else. Oh my um, goodness. The Burmese community in Indianapolis also, in Minnesota, yeah. there's Somali residents now that are cooking, again, different food than you can find anywhere else. So it's a diverse region. and. I, I wanted to, you know, talk and about it. And you captured it. That melting pot is all in here, folks. It's really an interesting read and some great recipes. So what are you making for us today? Well, I'm going to do one of the foundational recipes, which is uh, a German warm potato salad. So I've cooked some bacon and chopped it up here. Mm -hmm. And in the leftover grease, we use everything. So in the leftover bacon grease, I'm just going to toast this flour a little bit. And that's going to be our thickener. Once that's toasted, I'm going to add some onion. You can use red onion if you like a little bit of a sweeter onion. Mm -hmm. You can certainly use more green onion. I like to put green onion on at the end, but you can use green onion if you want. I'm going to use a little bit of vinegar. That's our seasoning. And then so different gonna... than any potato salad recipe that I think we're used to. Yeah, but this is the potato salad that originally came to the Midwest, and you still find it in, in, in German-American communities. Sh surely in my hometown of Jasper, Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, this is the way a lot of the old-timers still make their potato salad. So you're adding a little bone broth now? A little bit of chicken broth, yes, chicken okay. bone broth. And I'm uh, going to let that thicken a little bit. We're going to put our... Add that bacon in. Bacon in, and... Then, so there's no mayonnaise in this. You can add a little bit of mayonnaise if you like that taste. And then I've got some fingerling potatoes here. And that's another difference, I think. We're typically, we don't see the fingerling potatoes, but I love those. I think it's a great addition for the potato salad. Yeah, I like a little bit of bite on my potato salad. And in the book, I explain how to get the potato salad to have the finish that you want. So if you want a really soft potato salad, mm -hmm. use a russet potato. Um, if you like a potato salad with, that, with a little bit of bite, use fingerlings or maybe Yukon gold potatoes. Sure. And uh, this is a classic pairing. This is actually really good. You can do this right on your little butane burner when you're tailgating. Oh, nice. And these beer or brats camping. here. So this is a method my dad taught me. And it's not something you're going to see around a lot. But you cover the bratwurst and beer. And just turning them every so often, cook it all the way down. Oh, so you let all that alcohol kind of cook away. Exactly. But then the malt in the beer turns into a little bit of a syrup and starts to caramelize Ooh. on the sausages. So, and then you can put one or more of those on there, depending on how hungry you are. These make really great bratwurst sandwiches also. Oh, I bet. And then always a little bit of green onion to it's keep beautiful. it fresh. You know, and the whole eat with your eyes. That is beautiful. So tell me, I know this one is really like hearkening back to your family. Do you have a favorite recipe in the book? Is it this? Is it something else? Uh, the, that bratwurst recipe is a, a real favorite. I actually like the Chicago-style tip-and-link recipe. If you want to 
be thinking about barbecuing at home. Sure. That's a really good and it's an easy recipe to pull off. Uh, I encourage people to go to the south side and try it at Lem's or Honey One as well. Um, so you've collaborated with other people and sort of their inspiration to pull these recipes together. Yeah, absolutely. You can learn how to make your own cold packed cheese in there. Uh, my grandma's strawberry custard pie, which she used to mm. woo my grandfather. <laughs> Um, oh, good to know. That recipe is in there. It works, I guess, I'm told. Oh, right, yeah. So, yeah, good stuff. You're a product of that, right? Yep. <laughs> Eventually, through the generations. Midwestern food, it's so great. Thank you. Thanks for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having really me, appreciate Dina. appreciate it, Paul. Uh, you can check out more from Paul Fairbach at his restaurant, Big Jones. That's located at 5347 North Clark Street and online at bigjoneschicago.com. We're going to post the recipe that we made today. So different and so yummy. It really smells great in here. WGNTV.com slash midday. And we'll all also have a link there so that you can maybe uh, look check out the uh, the cookbook the cookbook and history book yeah. <laughs> thank you